The market's under pressure this past week. My name's D7 here, Grok Trade. It's Sunday, August 28th, 2016. This is the weekend edition. Turbulent week. We have everybody on Friday in bearish territory, but the NASDAQ up slightly. And you'll see that financials uh, and bank both in positive territory. So we're seeing a lot of relative strength in the banks going into this weakness that we're seeing. Um, the U.S. dollar rises a half of a percent. Uh, so does silver. Gold down a fraction, but fear increasing. And looking at the spider, you'll see we dropped. We had this big pop, big, big drop. Uh, with the Fed minutes coming, it threw everything in a just a, a, a huge loop uh, on Friday. And then we get a second close below the 20-day moving average. It's been a while since we've seen a close, you know, a two closes below the 20-day moving average. So we're showing some weakness here. A lot of volume for our Friday also. You can see that down here. Uh, NASDAQ, you'll see much of the same, a second close below the 20-day moving average. And if you look at crude oil, we went up, 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 tagged our resistance and came right back down. So here, this could be a sell sign. I thought that we'd get a pop re and sustain that pop and then blast through, but I'm seeing a lot of sellers coming into that resistance area, which is interesting to see. And if you look at gold, uh, we're down, down, we had this pop, and then we came right back down on Friday. Silver, same thing. Big pop like it was going to rally. I was almost ready to put a buy on that, and I just could not do it because of the selling into that strength coming right back down. What I'm going to do is go back to the spider. I'm going to look at the, the weekly chart. Uh, the weekly charts are very, very important uh, to look at. The thing I want to share with you is this. We get a t we have a tweezer top here. It's equal highs or very similar to equal highs with a lower low. This is a great opportunity for the markets to start pulling back. So this next week could be very bearish with a huge red weekly candlestick right here. We are teetering on dangerous ground at this moment. So that's something we're watching for. I have some shorts going into this weakness the last couple of weeks looking for more downside potential. If so, I will load up on that weakness. If you look at the weekly chart, I'm also gonna draw in a line. You'll see a line going from here to here. So this is a MACD centered oscillator. And you'll see that that is going across sideways while we're heading up here. So it's relative weakness that we're seeing. So that I could all also put a line in from here to there. And you can see that instead of rallying up, hitting the resistance line, that's blue one, we stalled right here. Heading down. The NASDAQ, we have this rising wedge, two red lines here. And we hit resistance, and we challenged that resistance last week, and we came back down, making a lower low. So again, we could get slippery and have a big red candlestick going into next week. I want this to be a warning to you guys. Uh, we up, 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 up. We doji out for the week here on the NASDAQ. Now we have a lower high and a lower low. There's our pivot candle. Look for a down leg to commence. Let's see if, in fact, that happens. If you have longs going, you want to protect yourself going into next week because you could give up a lot of this profit that we've been seeing. If you look here at crude oil weekly chart, after a big pop, we settled down, closing below the 20 week moving average. I still see upside potential here on the weekly chart. Gold weekly chart set a buy, and we're starting, we started to go higher, but now we're just going down, 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 down. And oh boy, I'm, I'm, I can't call it a sell yet. We're still at, within an uptrend, but we could be in a buy opportunity again fairly soon on um, some more pullback here in the market. Silver weekly chart is in trouble. I called it a buy. Now we broke support. So because of that, I am forced to say sell on the weekly silver. It's That's very, very weak there. Not a good sign. Actually, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. what am I doing? What am I doing? I jumped ahead. I can't do that because this 
is only one point. I almost broke one of my own rules here. Wait a second. No, there, now, now, now. There's our double point, there's our line. I feel much better about that one. Let me see if I go to this line. Yeah, it makes those lines fairly parallel. So I feel pretty good. Oh, no, hold on a second, man. This is where I should be. Yeah, oh, kind of a pinchy to me, see that? They're con they're, these lines are getting closer, so we do have a rising wedge there. But I'm not seeing any warning signs on our MACD oscillator. All right, so a monthly chart. Very important that we look at the monthly charts here on the, this is the S&P 500 for the month. We're wrapping up the month here. Let's see, what do we have? I'm pulling this up. We have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday to round out this month. But if you notice, we've been going higher, 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 and now we're dojied out right there. Do you see this? Got a doji so far. That's usually a reversal pattern, meaning to look for it to drop after that. But we won't know that for the next three trading days or so. The NASDAQ, if you look for the monthly, up, 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 up. We're near resistance right now. This is sell area. And I want to look at crude oil monthly. Crude oil monthly, I said sell. We dropped. We're trying to go bullish here. If we do go bullish, I'm going to turn that around to a buy signal. I can't do it yet. Gold have a buy we're continuing with our buy here but look at this lower high higher low um, a lot of weakness going into the month or rounding out this month silver uh oh big bearish engulfing pattern that is not a good sign any more weakness here i'm going to call it sell on a monthly chart and you guys go right now to grok trade and click trading mentor link click it i want you to go to grok trade right now click that link Click that link, sign up to learn more about our mentorship program. That is the thing that's going to help you be a rock star trader. Catch you guys later. <laughs>